In the time of Emperor Justinian, Decius, Bishop of Milan, about matters of religion, traveled to Constantinople. And coming to Corinth, he sought for a large house to receive him and his company, and could scarce find any. At length he saw far off a fair great house, which he commanded to be provided for him. And when the inhabitants of that place told him that it was for many years haunted by the devil, and therefore stood empty, so much sooner, said the venerable man, ought we to lodge in it, if the wicked spirit has taken possession thereof, and will not suffer men to dwell in it. Whereupon he gave orders to have it made ready, which being done, he went without all fear to combat with the old enemy. In the dead of the night, when the man of God was asleep, the devil began, with a huge noise and a great outcry, to imitate the roaring of lions, the bleating of sheep, the braying of asses, the hissing of serpents, the grunting of hogs, and the screeching of rats. Dacius, suddenly awakened with the noise of so many beasts, rose up, and in great anger spoke aloud to the old serpent and said, You are served well, you wretched creature. You are the one who said, I will place my seat in the north, and I will be like to the highest. And now, through your pride, See how you are become like unto hogs and rats, and that, instead of being unworthily like unto God, behold now how you appear now, according to what you deserve, imitating brute beasts. At these words the wicked serpent was, as I well may term it, ashamed, that it was so disgracefully and basely put down, for well may I say that he was ashamed, who never after troubled the house with any such terrible and monstrous shapes as before he did. For even after that time, Christian men did inhabit the same. For as soon as one man that was a true and faithful Christian took possession thereof, the lying and faithless spirits straightways did forsake it. Congratulations to Saint Dacius for exorcising the spirit in such a creative manner. However, if you would like to know how exorcisms in the Orthodox Church are actually performed in general, please check out Exorcism in the Orthodox Church video. Bye!